should make for a very exciting morning here at Tango Down Outdoors. I'll check back in as soon as the action starts happening. Okay, so I was sitting here for a while, wondering why I wasn't seeing any action. And then I noticed we had a feline hunting as well. Now in this area we got a huge feral cat problem. It's been estimated there's 40 to 60 wild cats running around these woods. And this is not a very big patch of woods. Trust me. And it really puts, it wreaks havoc on the wildlife. They kill the baby rabbits, the baby squirrels, they kill the adult squirrels. They'll kill a baby turkey. And when you got so many congested in one area, really the wildlife doesn't stand a chance. They really don't. Cats are extremely good hunters, we all know that. They're one of the best hunters on the planet. So anyway, I run them off. So now I'm back up on the set. We're going to see if the squirrel can't be brave enough to come out after that. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, I left the set for about two hours. And we got some squirrel activity up in the trees. They haven't come down to the ground yet. But it is brutally cold out here. It's about 18 degrees with the wind chill. I got a squirrel making his way up through the treetops. I think he's going to come down. Let's see if we can get a good hit on him. Let's see if I can get one right in the pump house, you know what I'm saying? He's coming down the tree now. So I'm going to get set up. This might be a long video. Here we go. <coughs> very very cautious I gotta move slow matter of fact I'll try to take him right off the tree that'll be a good action shot see that wow I gotta tell you there is nothing more exciting than squirrel hunting in the northwestern territories I mean all the frigid cold chasing off the feral cast this morning it was all worth it it all paid off in the end we got a beautiful shot beautiful fluffy gray squirrel he's gonna taste good tonight and tell you that right now you know the last squirrel I got I'm not gonna make the same mistake because what happened was I got a nice headshot on that last video. I'll tell you what happened. I put the squirrel down, went to get my gut knife because I forgot to bring it, and a damn feral cat grabbed it and ran off with it before I can even get back to it. That's how bad it is with the cats around here. But that, that was a good shot right there. He was about 15 feet up in that tree. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that's another 25, 30 yard shot right there. That was exciting. That was exciting. That's what it's all about right there. This is why I get up 4 o'clock in the morning. I set up. This is why I do the scouting with the squirrels. Practice my calling. Right here. That's what it's all about. I don't even think i got to give him a minute. I think we're going to go right out there right now. I got You see, he's on the other side of the fence line, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging to get him out of there. But, but it's all worth it. All worth it in the end. When I can feed my family... It's a, it's a good day. I ain't going to shop right tonight, I'll tell you that. Let's go. Let's go get them. <laughs> 